In the sacrament of baptism, we celebrate the grace of God that we know in Jesus Christ. We proclaim that all life is God's gift and that this gift is profoundly good. By water and the Holy Spirit, we touch the mystery of God's love for us. We are freed from the powers of sin and death and reborn as children of God. We become members of the church, the body of Christ, into which all are welcome. People of God, what a celebration when we have baptisms. What an amazing celebration when we have four. Um, I invite all our baptismal candidates, you're going to have to grab Piper, <laughs> their parents and sponsors to please come forward. <clears throat> Seriously, how beautiful is this? So, parents, I ask you, do you promise, with the help of God, by your life and your teachings, to lead your children toward an understanding of the Christian gospel and into the service of Jesus Christ? If you will, please respond with, we do with God's help. And then sponsors, you have been chosen to stand with your families. And so I ask you to, um, will you promise to support your families and, and your little ones here with your love always? And if you will, please respond with, I will with God's help. <laughs> It's a big moment. It's a big moment. <laughs> Congregation, we have a covenant as well. So members and friends of Plymouth, will you promise your love, support, and care to these families and children of God? We promise our love, support, and care for the ones about to be baptized as we seek together to grow in love of God and neighbor. We pray for grace and faith to be God's beloved community, to all of our children and, and to one, one another. Let us pray. Holy God, we give you thanks for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters and you created heaven and earth. By the gift of water, nourish and sustain us and all living things. We remember that you led Israel by the pillar of cloud and fire through the waters and the sea, out of slavery and into freedom of new life. We remember that in the waters of the Jordan River, Jesus was baptized and anointed by the Holy Spirit. We remember that it was living water that Jesus offered to the woman at the Samaritan well. O oh, Master of all, declare this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, a cleansing of flesh and spirit, a loosing of bonds, a forgiveness of sins, an illumination of the soul, a lava of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of inheritance, a garment of incorruption, a fountain of life. Pour out your Holy Spirit so that these children who are baptized may be washed in your new life, your freedom, and your love. Amen. And would you be willing to hold this? And Rowan, let's have you come forward first. Do you want to come with me or do you want to stay with Mom? Can you come here? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We'll do just like this. What do you name your child? Rowan William Lanto. You are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
child of God, you are marked with the cross of Christ and sealed by the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Good job, buddy. <laughs> now you can just stand over here and come on up, Artie. What do you name him? Arthur James Willoughby. You are baptized in the name of the Father Ooh. and of the Son yep. <laughs> and of the Holy Spirit. Child of God, you are marked with the cross of Christ and sealed by the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Good job, buddy. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> Katie and Lane, bring her on up. <laughs> Hi, Piper. Hey. Katie and Lane, what do you name your child? Piper Alice. You are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Piper, child of God, beloved, you have been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed by the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. She liked being baptized. <laughs> Jessica and Thomas. I'm gonna stay with mom. Okay. <laughs> Jessica and Thomas, what do you name this child? Thomas Andrew. Thomas Andrew Bilton. I baptize you in the name of the Father <laughs> and in the name of the Son and Ready? one more time. In the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Ready? And now, child of God. You are marked with the cross of Christ and sealed by the love of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> and so on this day, uh, we offer you all a rose symbolizing God's great love for you. And we give you a candle. May these candles and roses be reminders that your lights are to shine before others so they might see your good works and give glory to God in heaven. And so we encourage you to light the candle that you're receiving on today's anniversary and on special days in the life of your child, and to tell them the story of this day and the stories of faith that are meaningful and will continue to be meaningful as we go forward as a people and children of God. And so now we welcome these children of God into the community of, community of faith with the song. And so we're going to pray down the center aisle so you can all look how marvelous they all are. So. <laughs> <laughs> 